She's really cute. Definitely vintage. Looks like Lefton. It's a little mini disco ball. It's bougie size. Oh, those are nice. Oh, and you're actually wood. No, you're metal. Let's see if there's one where we can read the signature on the bottom so you can see what it looks like. Look at this cool old leather topped desk. All right, let's look at this a little closer. I do like that that is made of shell. Oh, that does look older too. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. It is day three of my turning a new leaf and being much more disciplined with what I am buying for resale in my business. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good. I've been able to stay on top of processing everything in and instead of feeling like, oh, I've got so much stuff to deal with. No, it's manageable. So we're going to keep on this trend and we are going to get inside and see what we can find to not only sell on places like whatnot, eBay, all of that good stuff, but right in the in my very own niche lady shop, niche lady shop. And I have a link to that down in the description as well as in the first pinned comment of every video. Okay, so we're gonna get in here and we're gonna see what we can find. Let's get shop done. So I think somebody forgot to tell nature that uh, uh, it's about time to start cooling off because we are at 99 degrees already at 1030 this morning, but it's uh, pretty splendid. Okay, lucky cart time. Let's go grab this one. Ooh, that one worked. And we are gray. I'm gonna just peek back here at the furniture real quick and see what we can find. Exciting, look at this cedar chest. I think it's a cedar chest, let's see. This is a lane. Oh, oh it's locked. It's locked. It's got the original lane tag on it, but you can't get into it. That's very interesting. Look at this little drop table. That is very cute. Somebody's painted it, obviously. It's kind of been repurposed with that chalk paint, which I'm not a big fan of. Oh, no, not chalk paint. What's it called when it's kind of like that matte finish? It feels chalky. Maybe it is chalk paint. Anyway, I'm not gonna pick these up, but I do just like to keep my finger on the pulse of used furniture because at some point I'm going to have the space to sell more furniture at the store and I just want to see what's out there. Oh, there's a cage. What kind of cage is this? This is like a small critter cage like for like a ferret or something. Not a bird cage. It's not a bird cage. All right. Now there is a fresh cart of goods. Let's take a peek. It looks like they've already emptied a few of the baskets out onto the shelves. Let's see what else is in here. Nothing, nothing too exciting. I like these glasses. Oh, there are a couple of them. I do believe these are like a pure one. Let me see, let me put that in the cart. We'll grab this other one. Oh wait, do I see four of them? Yes, I do think I see four. And number four, they are two dollars each. So that would be eight dollars for the set, which means I would want them to sell for like 25 to 30 dollars if I'm gonna pick those up. So I'll probably do a little look up on those, but right now, they're in the cart. And will they stay in the cart? It's going to depend on how many other things I find. And then I may have to make some really tough decisions at the end. So let me know in the comments which items you think should go or should stay. 
helped me on this journey. She's really cute. Definitely vintage. Looks like Lefton. I think. She is $2.99. You know what? I'm not even going to peel that. I'm just going to pick her up because she's in really good shape. Oh, wait. Wait. The rose has a big chip. Okay. Oh, and her halo's broken. See, I have to get better about spotting that stuff. So let's just put you up there for somebody to spot. I have to leave you. I would have picked her up had she not had that damage. Okay, let's see if there's some exciting new things up here. I like this little scene with the uh, the swans. A little bit of a broken tree there. It's $5.99. We'll leave that. Plastic horse. What are you in the baggies? You look like a nativity. Now, just pieces. Kind of a mix. Kind of a mix of some resin couple of nativity figures, nothing too exciting, and nothing too exciting in that one. Sometimes these baggies can uh, be kind of full of some cool things. I mean, that is a Lefton West nest egg collection. I already see chips on it, though. So, aw, I need someone to love me. He is vintage, probably made in Taiwan, not Japan. Uh, not, not real valuable. So we will leave him. That is pressed, not cut. We got dolls, and those are fun shoes. I feel like I would wear those shoes, but those look too big for me. I hate when you can't find sizes in shoes anymore. Have you guys noticed that? It used to be so easy to find the size of a shoe. Okay, these are nines, too big. And now you really have to hunt for the size of a shoe. And I don't know why that is. Why? Why would they make it so difficult? Little musical horse. He's broken. The music is broken. The ears are chipped. That is a sad 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 thing and I don't see anything else notable on this shelf let's look over here we've got another baggie of stuff a little sand guy in there looks like some penguin nativity figures some little owls, are those owls? Yeah, little owl, nicky nacky things. Lots of nicky nacky things. We don't need nicky nacky things. But let's look at what appears to be like a paper mache marionette. So she's missing, obviously, the stick with the controls, but you can see the strings attached to her hands that would have been for making her work. She's got a gray tag. She's only $2. Mm. No, no. I just feel like that's that's got a little bit too much going on to be worth a whole lot on the resale market. Oh, you're a witch missing. You're a bald witch. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's just wrong. This looks like Godinger. Oh, there's a rose inside. Glad I didn't dump that out because he's ceramic. Uh, this is Godinger. I have seen these before. They've covered up the mark, I, but I know. I just know this is a Godinger piece. Now, these are actually still produced and sold at like home goods and, and such. So not a lot of resale value there, even though it's, it's pretty nice quality. It could fool you. We've got some succulents, witch's brew succulents. Those are cute. $4.99, we do not need them. Oh, my piece of watermelon is still here. Oh, it's gray tag now though, it's $2.50. Now the question is, do I wanna pay $2.50 for just a couple of those pieces, just to have that piece of watermelon to go with my other paper mache fruit? I kind of feel like I do. Okay, and we're not finding a whole lot yet, so this, this would be the first item I would probably take back out of the cart uh, should I get over my limit, but I really want that watermelon. Oops, the pickle. That pickle goes in that bag of stuff too. 
You're staying. All right. We do like the pickle. Another baggie with little plastic things. Okay, nothing else here. It's a little mini disco ball. It's bougie size. I really should train him to uh, start dancing when I hold up the disco ball. It's only $2. It's going in the cart. I know, I know. I'm veering off course a little bit. I'm buying some silly things. I'll reassess. I'll reassess at the end and see what needs to go. Now here's a nice quality N. Give me an N. Let's see how much you are. If I can get you off the shelf. Kind of heavy duty. $7.99 though. So it was $30 and then it would have been knocked down to 50%. So it would have been $15. So that's good. That's good. They're pricing it right. You know, now that they're doing half of the half, which is reasonable. Um, I think that one is just too big and heavy and it's $7.99. I am going to leave it. And I'm going to look at this little witch who looks like she's got like some sachets. I'm not exactly sure. Is that just like her potions? I'm not sure what's going on there. Not sure what's going on with that witch. All right, let's see cute little Irish dancer, 1984 Schmidt. Looks like it would have had a music box in there, but maybe not. All right, thank you guys for letting me know that this is a therapy item that I guess when you're doing physical therapy and uh, peeling those off of there, you know, would be, I see how that would work. I could feel that. I have arthritis in my hands. I can, I can feel the tug there, so. Interesting. I hope uh, somebody who really needs that ends up finding it. What is this? This is a thank you for your business. It's a booty band for vertical jump trainer. Oh no, that's not something we'll be doing. I don't understand. I don't understand bungee jumping. I don't understand jumping off things and getting the thrill of the possibility that, you know, you're just on your way down. I don't get it. It's kind of cool. What are you? Merry Christmas, Nomi. Again, another Big Lots item that was $8, so they did half price, so it's $4. not something we need to pick up. All right, let's go look at the metals shelves. Just kind of some cool rustic, just a single sconce for $5. Oh, you're still here and now you are gray tagged, so you're only $3. All right, I don't have a lot in the cart. I'm gonna put this in the cart. I just really love it. And now that it's $3, it makes more sense to pick it up. So let's go ahead and grab that. That's just one of those very emotional pieces that I'm sure will have a connection for someone. That's a, kind of a wild piece of wall art there. Oh, look at this doggy. He is a frame. He is not very high quality or anything. He's just cute. I'm not even sure how well he would stand up. There, I'll stand him there so somebody finds him. Ugh, that's very broken. Nice little piece of pottery. We've got more brass napkin rings. Those, those aren't that exciting. A lot of them are really plain. I like it when they have little patterns on them makes it a little easier to sell them. That is, ooh, it has no weight whatsoever. Totally fooled me. Oh, those are nice. Oh, and you're actually wood, no? You're metal. Why do those fool me every time? They look like wood. If they were wood, I would be all about them. But metal, yeah, not so much. All right. We have been fooled by a couple things. Wind chimes, 
I don't know how many wind chimes I can get away with uh, putting on my back patio. I do have a neighbor. We'll see. <laughs> I love wind chimes, but not everybody does. All right, let's visit the fakeness. See what we've got here today. Another little succulent. We've been doing a lot of work in the backyard, a lot of work in the side yard, just a lot of like, putting things away, preparing for, you know, we can't really start a garden right now. Obviously it's gonna be winter before we know it. So we're just preparing and figuring out where we wanna do things and where things are gonna go. Northern Lights Candles. It's actually got the candle in it. But uh, it's, it's all coming along. And yes, I will be filming some of that soon. I've been a little squeamish about sharing too much about my home until the situation at hand gets dealt with. That's interesting. What does that say? I've referred to what's happening in other videos. I don't want to give it a lot of attention. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, just go back and look at the last couple of videos. Synergy Design, Museum of Modern Arts. I'm going to assume this is Modern Arts Boston. Made in Hungary, $7.99. I really like that piece. That has a very, very nice look to it. A nice color. I'm pretty sure that's worth at least 25 to 30. So let's go ahead and pick that up. And then there's the clear glass vases. Let's see, this is the kind of dog Noah really wants. He's, he's really, really pressing me to get a golden retriever. And I just keep thinking about all the hair. <laughs> I do, I love golden retrievers, but they can be hairy beasts. And the plastics, let's see what we've got. Now Noah does say that he would brush and walk it every day. And I believe him. Noah's pretty good about like when he says he's gonna do something, he does it. So I'm, I'm contemplating it. I'm also really about the right dog presenting itself and working with the rescues. It definitely would adopt. So that's important to me. That is a pretty little uh, stained glass frame for $3.99. Hmm. This wire looks like it's, no, I guess it's supposed to be that way. Just a little raised effect. I kind of like that for $3.99. I'm gonna grab that. So my store, the Good Stuff Thrift Store, does co-op with several different nonprofits, and three of them are animal rescue organizations. So I would definitely go through one of them or through a home for spot who is another uh, nonprofit and thrift store that's the dog junkies thrift store that i work with on a regular basis so i will just uh, kind of keep watching for that perfect dog to come through now by perfect i just mean one that's going to fit into our family and not eat the tortoises the guinea pigs and the birds See if there's anything else special in the glassware. We already picked up some glassware. So if anything else stands out, nothing, nothing. You know, I do tend to pick up these black stems, but I'm not going to right now. I still have many to deal with. Primus Hocht Pills. Is that some kind of a beer? I mean, it's a Pilsner glass. Those are kind of cool. Not cool enough to go in my cart today though. Come over here. I did notice this Dansk Mesa pattern dishes. Let's see if there's one where we can read the signature on the bottom so you can see what it looks like. There we go. It does say Dansk, a Dansk International, KW Japan. It is the Mesa pattern is what it says under there. It used to sell really, really well. I think it's it's kind of slowed down. I, I, I do believe people like this uh, type of dishware because it's really sturdy. Very, very functional versus like a china that you, you know, got to treat a little bit more tender. 
Um, this comes in this kind of a greenish turquoise color and like a, a, a real true blue. And it's both called the same pattern. It's just two different colors of that same pattern. Let's see anything in the mugs? I sold a whole bunch of mugs in my whatnot sale yesterday. Dream with your eyes open. That's pretty. So if you get the right mugs, they are definitely good sellers. But I don't see any of the right mugs today. All right, these shelves are really, really clear. Huh. They're all ready to bring out some new stuff. Putting their heads together about it, I'm sure. I don't see anything exciting here except the torture curlers. And by that, I don't mean they're exciting. I just mean they kind of uh, bring back some memories. The torture curlers. What does that say? Lucky Land Slots. Oh. Put $100 in a slot machine and you too could win a spatula. <laughs> Gotta love Vegas. I don't see anything in the cookware today. That looks vintage, but it would have had a lid. Let's see who makes you. Oh, it doesn't say. I mean, that's like really cool mid-century, but somebody had that at $10 at their yard sale and it's priced at $5.99 now. Oh, I see. It's, it's broken. I was going to say that would be worth $10, but not broken. Okay, we are in kitchen goods. Little teacup. Looks like it was probably part of some little gift set. Ooh. Little uh, cleanup is needed now. Wasn't me. It's a nice mug with little birds on it. Is that? Oh, it is glass. Glass Budweiser tray. Very man cave-esque. I like these canisters. They're newer though, they're not old. I tend to pick up the older ones. I sold some at my estate sale, live sale. That's, that's plastic, that's a sparkly looking plastic, wow. Crackle glass. Dan Zeisen Dairy. 2016, 2017. I didn't even know they were still making glass milk bottles. That's interesting. Must be much more healthy to get glass in a, and get milk in a glass bottle. Look at these little handles, these little glass. I like those, one, two, three, there's four. And then there's some, some little crystal bunnies in there. And of course, just some glassware. I'm not sure they're worth $5.99 to me though. But the transferware chicken plates have possibilities. We don't have a maker's name on them. But those are really nice. And they're a good size, pretty easy to ship. I do believe they're older. You see the little pin marks? I think somebody's just kept these in incredibly good condition because uh, they look great. And they're $2.99 each. I'm gonna grab those. Let's see what's up here. A little stopper that matches a little tray. That's interesting. And let's see if there's anything over here. What are you, little Santa? You look newer. You are Sakura. Yep. It's cute. Let's see. Watermelon. All right. I don't see any other big temptations here today. Well, it looks like this one might be a fairly quick shopping trip today. Looking through the lamps. Oh, this is this is an oldie. I mean, it's not like super exciting or anything. It's just fun to look at these old lamps. Pre-polarized plug. I'm, I'm going to say that's got 70s kind of written all over it. 
but I don't know that I find it super attractive. So there is that. Oh, okay, look at these deluxe fairy lanterns. Make three lighted lanterns. It's brand new in the package. That's the only reason I was looking at it, but we do not need that or any of this. So there is this Root 66 bag. I have sold one of these before and I sold it. I believe I got about $25 for it. Pioneer Express, that was the brand. So how much is this? It's purple tagged and it is $14.99. Oh, darn it. Nope, no can do. Oh, they've really gone through and cleaned up the art. Ayo and Mani working together. Looks like an older piece. It is $10 though. That's kind of pretty, but these are just uh, canvas reprints. Yeah, nothing, nothing too exciting there. Corrie Illustrato della Domenica came from Marshalls. Hmm. Yeah, look. They're getting ready maybe to bring out a whole bunch more art. Yeah, I don't see. Don't see anything. Yeah, that's like hotel art under there. Look at this cool old leather topped desk. See, this is the kind of desk I love. Like a big substantial workspace. Oh, it's a Sly, S-L-I-G-H, out of Holland, Michigan. Mm, back when furniture was made like furniture. Needs a little, needs a little work, but that's a nice old solid piece of furniture right there. All right, not even tempted to look in the big arts, just not even tempted. So there's like this abandoned cart sitting here and I see another one of my chicken plates in it. I'm gonna have to watch and see if somebody comes back to this cart. Oh, somebody came back to the cart. Darn it. I wonder why they only took one. They only took one. Look at these. Little doilies. $1.99. They look, they either look dirty or they look like someone used a yarn that's a little off color. It's not going to come through well in pictures or sell well that way, so... We will leave it. All right, let's do a little pillow search. Nope, I am seeing nothing. Seeing nothing today. Except, what is this? It's got, it's like a seat cover. Yeah, don't need that. It's a cute little sewing box, unfortunately. It's a little ratty tatty on the outside. Let's see, oh my gosh, look at all of this lace. Oh, some crafter is going to have a good time with that. So I have made the decision to sell off all of my plush. I'm going to be lotting it up and selling it in bulk. If that is something you may be interested in, send an email to the niche lady at gmail.com. Let me know you are interested in more information about the bulk plush sell-off and uh, I will let you know when I get those lots put together oh my goodness this guy is heavy okay Order. oh he's missing a whole arm okay that's probably why he's over here somebody noticed that I'm still always gonna look through the toys. I'm still gonna look in every department, but I just won't be picking up plush like I used to. But I did find a really, really cool vintage Fisher Price toy yesterday that uh, actually wasn't in the toy department either, so. But I always look. All right, we are doing quite well. So far there are no throwbacks and I don't, foresee there would be any unless for some reason I just found a whole ton of stuff here at the last minute.
at the purses, which generally doesn't happen, but we can be optimistic. Okay, my optimism is fading <laughs> as I look. That's still here. What are you? What does it's got a hippo on it? Hema to HUD fan? I have no idea what that is. It's decent quality, but it's got some pretty big dings on it. Mm. Tinkerbell. Nice little Vera. Wait, how much are you? $9.99? Nah. Not a fan of paying $9.99. Kenneth Cole reaction. Cute little herringbone. That's a Vera Brett. That's a Vera. For $12.99. Mm. Darn it. Alright. I don't see anything we're going to come home with in the purses today. Okay, I'm not buying this for resale. I am buying this because my daughter Jordan is on a little quest uh, to put up one new Halloween decor item one spooky item a day and she's got a contest between her and her boyfriend He has to spot it by 10 p.m. I feel like if she switched out a makeup bag He'd never notice so I'm actually gonna send her this little ipsy bag. That is a uh, Halloween themed Okay, let's look through the jewelry See if there's anything exciting added today Those are interesting but I'm even getting a little bit more refined now in what I'm picking up in the jewelry. Because I have made some not the greatest choices. But that's also how I learn. <gasps> Look at that butterfly pin. Was that here before? He's made from shell. He's kind of cool. Let's look at him. Okay, so we're going to look at that one. Let's see if there's anything else we want to pull out and look closer at. See, I am attracted to this blue, but I can tell based on that little charm that's on there, it's not vintage, it's not like super high quality. So we have to pass. This one has an interesting look to it. I may look closer at that one because it's half price. So that one would only be $3. If it's real stone, it would be great. If it's plastic, not so much. So we'll look at that one. And I think those might be the only pieces we're going to take a peek at. All right, let's look at this a little closer. I do like that that is made of shell. Oh, that does look older, too. Oh, he's separate. Oh, no. It's a curved shell. It's meant to do that. Okay, I think I'm going to pick him up for four. Ooh, that is stone. Ooh. Yeah, I thought maybe it was plastic, but no, it's it's, it's actually stone. Little tiger's eye. Okay, we'll get that for three dollars as well. Okay, one last place to look: a big old Melissa and Doug giraffe. Now, it used to be you could ship these, and it was totally worth selling them. Now this is so oversized; the shipping would be like a hundred dollars, so you can't really get the value for it. But look at that face. Ah, uh, another time. That would have been a great pickup. Now this owl, on the other hand, is super adorable. This is my kind of Halloween decorating. Fall, autumn, harvest. That's what I'm into. He is $5.99. I think we will grab him. This guy here, not quite as exciting. I think he was probably, you know, like a little dollar store. No, you know, he was a discount. He was $6.99 when he was new. Nothing super special. I am going to be doing an all owl, well probably be some other birds in there if we can't find all owls, but an all owl sale is the goal. That's because of course uh, Will of Picker Road is majorly into the owls. Somehow that just happened. Uh, and uh, so in honor of that, we're going to do an all owl sale. Plus, you know, it's autumn and fall and it just fits. So be watching for that. Make sure that if you have not already signed up 
on Whatnot, you use the link that I put down in my description to claim $15 to come over and spend. All right, let's look through all the little pumpkin-y pumpkins. Ooh, are you vintage? So this has a wide handle, but that's not necessarily the only criteria. It's general foam plastics. Mmm, made in USA. I do believe this is a vintage little Halloween bucket. So I'm also going to grab that for $3.99. Oh, I used to have a whole bunch of these pumpkins and then I got rid of them and I'm really, really, really drawn to them, but I've already gotten rid of them. So why would I buy more? Why would I buy more? That just would not make sense. So we are not, we are not going to do it. Okay, they're just starting to get this set up. So there's not a whole lot on these shelves yet. You know me, I'm always looking at paper plates to see if I can get a super bargain. $2.99, not a super bargain. Oh, that's a cute mural. Where could I put that at the store? That's cute with all the little pumpkin-y pumpkins. Kind of the brick. I feel like I'm going to do something with that at the store. Okay, yes, I know. I'm falling apart just a little bit, but, but not really, not really. I don't have too much. Not too much in the cart yet. Those are cute. Cute little, cute little pumpkins. So we don't need those and we don't need a wig. So we're all good. All right, we did really, really good. One, two, three, four, five, seven items. If you count the two pieces of jewelry that I have to pick up at the counter and uh, rock and roll, I love this. All right, heading to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, what I paid and how much it's worth and then after that, we're going to do a deep dive with Bougie. You know the thing I'm noticing, it feels, it feels good to set a goal, set out, do my shopping, and then stick to that goal, like, and come away with a very manageable amount of items. Like, it feels good, which is reinforcing the behavior, because that's, after all, how a habit is formed. You repeat while it's still uncomfortable, while you still have to think about it, and then at some point, it just becomes natural. And that is my goal here, is to make it become just a natural thing that I, I mean, I can always reassess the number. If things change in my business where I can then process more, that I've got, you know, a better working system in place, maybe uh, an employee who can then, you know, double or triple the amount of things I can process, that's a point where I relook at things, but for now, just being in this flow and having it come natural will be a really awesome, awesome thing. Okay, with that, I have a lot to do today. I need to get home and take care of business and get to the store and take care of business. Oh, many people have been asking me for another video of me shopping the shelves of the good stuff. If that is something that you would look forward to, please let me know in the comments. I've kind of held off because a lot of people were saying they were getting tired of shopping at the store. So I'm trying to find the happy balance of how often should I shop at the good stuff. Okay, with that, I am going to do a deep dive with Bougie and uh, show him his new disco ball. That's coming up right now. Hey, Boosh. I put the owl way on the other side of the table, okay? 
I know it's a little scary, but what do you think of the rest of the stuff we got today? No opinion? Since when don't you have an opinion? You always have an opinion. All right, well, let's see what everybody else's opinion is, shall we? Yeah? Okay, today's goodies are on the table. Uh, the first thing I've got off of the cart. Now, I knew these were good. I couldn't remember exactly who made them. And that's just sometimes how the brain works. I said in the video that I thought they were pure one. No, no, indeed, they're not. They are Italian. They are Bormioli Rocco or Rocco. R-O-C-C-O. -O. They are very high quality glasses that sell for very, very good money. I paid $2 a piece on these. This set of four should bring $40 to $50 quite easily. Most of the sets that you'll see that have sold are sets of six or more. Um, so keep that in mind if you ever find these and you find six to eight, uh, you are in the money. These are amazing to pick up. I still struggle with my fake food obsession. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's because I made so much money on fake food in the early years and I know the potential. Um, there's nothing too exciting in this grouping except the watermelon. I do love the paper mache watermelon. Now what I'm gonna do is I've already listed that other grouping of paper mache fruit. I'm gonna retake the pictures, add this, add a few bucks to it um, to account for the watermelon. And then I'm gonna add all of this probably to the other fake fruit. Although I forgot to look up and see what a fake pickle goes for. I suspect I could get eight to $10 just for the pickle. And the lemons are very high quality. Those, I could, I could actually list the lemons by themselves. And the reason this fake fruit and fake vegetable sells so well is there are different uses for it, such as home stagers, photographers, theater, uh, production companies. Um, think outside of just of it being fake food. There are different professional uses for this stuff. And if you market it as that, you can get more money for it. It's just a thing. Make sure you're putting prop in your uh, title if you are selling some fake food. Okay, you got that? Okay. The Cowboy at the Cross, a classic, classic um, piece of art, if you will. This is a cast iron trivet or wall hanging. This would look really great on the outside of a barn, again, Think about the different uses people can use the things that you're buying and market them as such. Uh, it increases the value if there's more customers that have the potential to buy this. Um, just really, really nice. It was on half price this time, so I picked it up for $3, and it will sell for $15 to $20. Now, this piece. This piece has me a little bit puzzled. I paid $7.99, which I said 20 to 25 in the video. Yeah, that, triple that. This is at least a $60 piece. Now, I hesitate to get it listed just, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, I'm trying to make a video over here. Um, could you, could you not do that right now? Thank you, I'd appreciate it. Um, this could be a really good piece. Now, it's got some writing on the bottom. I don't know if this provenance is accurate without further research, but it looks like it, you know, definitely has some standing as to what the piece is. It says, Made in Hungary, Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. Synergy, and then see, it's, this is unfortunate that that part of it is missing, but I have to dig a little deeper on this piece. Now, I did find that the shape of the piece is known as a buttress vase. Uh, so the ones I find call it a Tico buttress vase. Now I am going to look a little harder on this piece today before I put it up in the niche lady shop uh, because I have seen 
some very, very similar ones listed in the hundreds of dollars. Uh, I may reach out to George the Antique Nomad. This would be a fantastic piece to ask him about. I'm sure he knows what it is. Um, but uh, it's at least 60, and that's what I put in the recap for value, but it could be much, much more. And I picked this up again just on that gut of, gosh, that's a nice look. It's a nice shape. It's a nice quality. This could be something. And that's sometimes what you have to go with because you're not always going to be able to find the information while you're standing in the store. Go with your gut and learn to trust your gut. This was just pretty. And I get pretty things that do well on whatnot, kind of the quick flip items. Those are my bread and butter, you know, the $15 to $20 items. I'm hoping that I can at some point raise that up by finding more of these types of items, but you can't always find those items. And to keep the income rolling, you do have to go with your easy, nice to sell items. And it brings me joy while it's here. And I think it brings him a little bit of joy too. You like flowers, don't you? Are you a flower guy? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, then we have the plates. The plates, again, I don't normally pick up transferware. It's kind of out of vogue. <laughs> like it's, it's not an easy sell. But these are roosters. And roosters are very, very popular. And then these turn out to be queens, uh, queens by Churchill. Even though they don't say Churchill, I think maybe the crown stands for Churchill because every one that I found on Google Image was Queen's Churchill. Now this is a 12, hoo -hoo, look at that, I said it right, T-O-I-L-E is kind of the, uh, when you have the flowers and the geometrics and the all of that, it's 12. Um, very, very popular. These should sell 10 to $15 a piece, which on its own, that's not generally what I shoot for. But if I pair them up, now I'm looking at 20 to 30 and I only paid uh, for the both of them together, I paid six. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm in my margin that I want to be at. Oh, there's something missing. There we go. I forgot to put the jewelry out here. So this uh, it caught my eye the last time I was there, and then it caught my eye again. It is made from real shell, and I do believe this is an older piece just by the construction and the materials used. Got the little rivets. Um, this piece I paid $3.99 for. It's $15 to $20. And then this piece also caught my eye. And it's funny, you can, you can see in the video where the clerk kind of grabbed it back out of my hands when I was trying to decide if this was real stone, if it was real tiger's eye. And she grabbed it and she goes, yep. <laughs> now I don't know who makes it, but I like the little toggle here. And I like the fact that it is real chunky tiger eye and it's pretty good quality. I think it did okay on this one, paying $3 and it's uh, 15 to 20. Now, what else did I buy? Oh yes. Uh, now, unfortunately we have a problem. I bought this for Bougie. Oh gosh, he's already running away. He's terrified of it. He's terrified of the disco ball. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that, but um, for now, we won't torture him with it. Uh, the Halloween items, okay. Anybody's following a Jordan on Just Jordan Things, she's in a challenge with her boyfriend, the countdown to Halloween, and she's adding one spooky decor item into the house every single day until Halloween, and then if he finds it, he gets the point. If he doesn't find it, she gets the point. I got this little Ipsy bag. Now, in talking to her, she's not quite sure how she can use it in the challenge because... It's not really a decor item, but but we're working it out. We're working it out. So I'll be sending that to her. Then I've got the little Halloween witch owl. He's just cute. I called him shingle because it looks like little shingles. So he's tin and these little wood shingles. I did pay six bucks for him and he's only worth about 12 to 15. So that of all the things is probably the item I should not have purchased and I paid a little bit too much for. The cauldron, 
Uh, again, I spotted that wide handle. So on the jack-o'-lanterns, all of that, on these blow mold pieces, look for a wider handle. Look for Made in USA. And those are some of your indications that it's a vintage piece versus one of the new dollar store pieces. Now, it's only worth about 12 to 15, but for $4, that's still a good margin. And that's our little haul. I will get all of these items listed in the Niche Lady shop. I will post a link to that collection down in the very first comment of this video. Uh, and if you wanna go see any of the previous video items, it's all in there, Niche Lady shop. Now I'm only gonna leave things in there for about a week. So this is gonna be my new strategy so that I don't get any real backlog of inventory is I get it listed with the video that's coming out. So you can find those things and they will stay in there for about a week and then they will go over to whatnot. And then I will send those things on to a new home via whatnot. So if you have something that you would like to purchase, uh, it's only gonna be in there for a short time, right Boosh? And then it's gonna go in the whatnot. And then uh, we make room for more stuff, yeah? And that's how we keep this fun train a rolling, right? He, some days he's super talkative and then some days he's like, yeah, I'm not talking, I'm not doing it. He hasn't said I love you for a very long time. I'm starting to take it personally. Do you not love me anymore? I love you. No? No? What? <laughs> All right. You. Go be profitable. And make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.